Okay, today we're going to do a cone flush on a Titan. This one, um, we're going to use the Astro 78585, which is this kit. Uh, I just picked this up a couple of days ago. This thing's a beast. Uh, it's a pressure tester slash vacuum filler. Uh, I got it just for the pressure tester piece. I already had a vacuum filler, um, but it's it's okay. It's not great. I had the air. I have the airlift. I still have it. Um, it's been used and abused, um, but works great. The only thing you can't do with this is any kind of pressure testing, uh, and that that's really why I got the Astro kit. Um, this is a fantastic tool, like the, the fairly expensive tool as well. Um, but it's just just the vacuum side. Uh, I was using this coolant testing system from OTC, the 7991. Uh, that thing's junk. I mean, I've had it for a couple of years. It's maybe worked on two cars. Uh, I use it more for other things than I do for, uh, for pressure test and cooling systems. There's not much in the kit. It's, it's just a you know, pump. It's got a little bladder on the end. You pump it up, the bladder is supposed to expand. These caps, I've never found a use for them. I, I don't even know what they're for. I give up trying. Um, but yeah, love OTC. This thing, that's a fail. Uh, I had to knock the dust off of it before I made this video. So, we're gonna drain the coolant. Uh, I'll try and record that. Uh, I've got this on my lift, but I have a height issue. Uh, so trucks, normally I can only put them up to the first click, which is about a foot, maybe a foot and a half, something like that. So I'll lift this up, drain the coolant, and then uh, we'll hook up the Astro. And uh, we're going to use the lift side of it today. Uh, maybe I'll show the, the pressure tester side as well. That way you can see both, both sides of the tool. Um, so let, me, let me get that set up and then uh, I'll turn this back on. Okay, truck's up in the air. Um, so I just popped the radiator cap off. Uh, the one that fits this truck from the Astro kit is the orange 78210-06. So what's really nice about this is you've got an actual cap for your car. Uh, there's, there's a chart that comes in the instructions which tells you which cap fits which kind of car. Uh, the one it didn't come with was Land Rover and uh, like late model BMWs. Uh, I did order that. It was only like $20 or something, but it, this is a pretty high quality kit. Uh, like with that OTC tester, you have to put it in and try and hold it still, pump up the bladder, hopefully the bladder seals. Then you can pressurize the system and, and nine times out of ten it doesn't work. Uh, whereas this just it's like an OEM cap, screw it right on and then they have these quick fittings. So and this is the pressure pump that comes with it. So this truck doesn't have a leak or anything. It should hold pressure fine. Just clips on and then you know you want to just pump it up. So if you had a, a leak in your coolant or you had something going on like head gasket leaking or anything, you can come in, pressurize your system. And then, you know, if you had a leak, it's going to start pissing out coolant somewhere. Uh, and as it does that, you'll see this, this needle would move. But you can see this, this truck is totally fine. We're just doing a coolant flush. It's been six years since I did the last one. Uh, I used the airlift you know, six years ago. <laughs> uh, so this is, you know, we're going to do the same thing using the, this Astro kit and see how it works. Uh, but you can see this. This truck doesn't have any issues, no coolant issues. Uh, and then to release it, you just, this little valve right here, you squeeze it and you depressurize it. We only had like eight or nine PSI on it, nothing, nothing major. You could just pull it off and let the air whoosh out of it if you wanted, but yeah. So pretty cool. I'm uh, definitely going to be handy uh, doing, uh, you know, fighting coolant leaks and stuff like that. Um, pretty good quality kit. I love that I have caps and I have for, for all the different cars because that's, that's the one thing I didn't have is driving me crazy. Uh, we'll leave that off because we're going to pull the, the pan and uh, uh, pull the lower radiator hose or maybe I'll just pull the pet cock out of it. I don't know. We'll see. So, truck's up in the air. I got to pull the skid plate off. And here's
there's your drain. I don't know what you guys can see. Right, here's your uh, your drain for your radiator. You just listen this, and it'll uh, it'll pee its coolant right out here. Um, or if you want to do it faster, you can just pop this lower radiator hose off. Um, either way, I'll work. I'll probably just pull this. I'm not in a hurry. So get your bucket ready. This is an Allen key on a Titan. It's a eight mil. I do have the cap off. Uh, if you didn't have the cap off, this would like drip, drip, drip. Uh, but since the cap's off, obviously air can get in. It should pee up. It's peeing. It'll do that for like 10 minutes. So I just had an idea. Um, I'm, this is finished draining by itself. And this is the... Uh, this is the vacuum filler from the Astro Kit. And how this works is air will come in here uh, and it'll draw a vacuum through this hose when this valve is open. Uh, and this is for the air to escape from the Venturi effect. Um, but what you can do, you can cover this and instead of sucking out of this hose, it'll actually force air into it, which in turn will force fluid or anything that's left in the system out of that same hole. So I'm gonna set this up and try that. It's probably not, it's probably not approved. Astro probably doesn't intend it to be used that way. I don't think it'll do any damage because the pressure's not that high, but um, we'll give it a shot. Who knows, I can just break something. Hopefully that's where it belongs. Hey, buddy. What are you up to? Hopefully that made sense. Um, it's just reverse venture effect, I guess. Uh, but what, what came out is, is coolant that wouldn't come out just by gravity. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to set it up to refill it now. Uh, I'll turn this back on and show you how that works. Okay, so uh, truck's lowered. I put the pack pack back in. Uh, I lowered the truck back down. I set this up. Uh, it's completely empty of coolant. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you can see this gauge. Uh, air compressor's on. Yeah, if it if it tries to recharge, I'll stop and start it over. Uh, so basically, you want this valve open so that we can draw a vacuum from through the Venturi effect from here, and then the air will actually expel it here. Uh, and then you just flip the switch on, and you should see you should see these coolant hoses start to uh, suck in. So here we go. So right there, oh, you can, this, this coolant hose here is flat. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I'm gonna pop this off so you can see it. You can see it's completely sucked in. So the whole system's under vacuum. So from here, you drop this into your coolant. We're gonna open this valve and then it'll suck the coolant through this hose and insert the coolant into the, uh, into the engine. Or the red, the rod, and the black chair. So I like to put my coat in the jug, uh, just so that I can see it better. It's kind of hard to do it when it's there's a little hole in the uh, in the bottle. So drop this in, and we want to make sure we don't suck air at any point. So make sure it's in there, uh, and then once you crack this valve, 
uh, it'll, it'll suck it and it'll refill your system for you. Uh, you have to keep an eye on your water bottle. I mean, don't go way over max, so you got to suck it back out, but no big deal. Well, there it goes. And it'll, it'll really suck it in there too, so you keep an eye on your coolant. It'll go pretty quick. And you can watch your gauge too. When your gauge is getting close to zero, uh, you're, you're pretty much full. And you see, got about, suck about half of that jug in already. Just gonna make sure we don't suck air. Keep an eye on your gauge, like I say. Turn it off there for a second. I'm just gonna let it settle. I don't want to overfill it. But yeah, that, that's basically it. It'll suck the fluid in and refill your system and zero air bubbles. Okay, so the truck's finished filling. Um, let's see if I can sneak you in here and get a look at it. Uh, there's the min-max marks. It's right below the max. Uh, the one thing I will do is pop this off and actually show you the radiator as opposed to the expansion tank. And I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's a GoPro, there's no viewfinder, so uh, it, it's right at the top. Uh, so it's, it's full. You know, all the hoses have come back. There's no, you can squeeze them. Yeah, there's no air bubbles or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna start it, uh, make sure, uh, let it run for a few minutes, burp it, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. And that's the Astro 7, I don't even know the number, 78585. And that's the kit with uh, all the components. And this was the one I used for the Nissan. Uh, and yeah, here's the hoses for sucking up the fluid, pressure tester. Uh, this, is a, this actually came in handy. Um, I, I put this on pretty tight uh, and my hands were a little slippy, so this little, little tool for yeah, unscrewing it. So, super handy. But yeah, that's it. Quick review of the Astro 78585. That's it. So, last little follow up. Uh, the truck's been running for like 10 minutes. Coolant level is a touch above the max. It's literally right above it. I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna roll with it. Uh, get you a coolant temperature here. Coolant temp. So we're sitting at 185. see that or not so yeah it's steady no issues it's a little over full by yeah a centimeter in the expansion tank no big deal I'm not gonna wait for it to cool down and suck it out for that it's like whatever I'll check it again in a couple of days uh, but yeah super easy that astro kit it makes this job really, really easy. Um, yeah, 